In this video, we'll go over the Flix editorial round trip using Avid Media Composer. To publish the current edit to Avid, simply click on the Avid plugin. You can use the following dialog to enter a comment and click on the Publish button, at which point Flix will start generating AAFs for every panel that hasn't been imported in editorial yet. When the publish is complete, we'll want to export these AAFs out of Flix and onto the Avid workstation. To do that, we'll use Flix's editorial interface, accessible via the Flix icon in the menu bar. First, you'll want to make sure that you're in the To Avid tab, and that the right sequence is loaded in the project browser. The panel on the left will list every version of that sequence that was ever published to editorial, while the right one will list all the files that need to be imported for the selected version. The ALE contains information regarding timing, panel ordering, and dialog for the sequence, while each AAF contains media and metadata for their corresponding panel. To copy them locally to your Avid workstation, simply click on the To folder, browse to your desired import folder, click on Choose, and then on the Import button. Flix will now copy the ALE and all the AAFs over to the selected folder and reveal that folder in your file explorer. In Avid, you can now drag and drop the AAFs to a bin to import the media. Each clip has a set duration, mark-in and mark-out points, as well as ordering and dialogue information. To customize the duration and mark-in and out points, please refer to the Flix technical guide. In order to use the timing from Flix, you'll want to bring in the ALE in Avid as well which will create offline clips corresponding to every panel. Make sure to use the sort column to order them properly and create a sequence based on them by dragging them to your sequence viewer. To relink to the timed offline clips with the previously imported media, simply right click on the sequence, choose relink, select media on drive, make sure to relink by name, and click on OK. At this point, the whole sequence will be conformed in Avid in exactly the same way as it was in Flix. In order to conform the edit back in Flix, two files need to be exported out of Avid. The first one is a quick time for the sequence. Any video or audio codec can be used, same as source being the recommended option as rendering speeds will be better. The second file is a cut list exported using Avid's list tool. You'll need to follow the settings used in this video, which are explained in more details in the Flix user guide. To publish the edit back to Flix, we'll use its editorial interface. First, You'll want to make sure that you're in the To Flix tab and that the right sequence is loaded in a project browser. Then, use the Movie and or EDL button to tell Flix where the cut list and QuickTime exported out of Avid are located. You can also select which branch to publish the edit to. We'll use the main branch in our case. The As Stills checkbox can be selected if the animated effects added in editorial, such as camera moves, don't need to be shown in Flix. We'll leave it unchecked here in order to see them in Flix. You can finally add a comment to the publish and click the To Flix button when ready. At this point, Flix will go through the cut list to check for shot markers, figure out the timing for each board, check if any effects were added, and create reference panels if needed. When the publish is complete, Flix will create a new version for our sequence, which we can access via the main interface's project browser The Q icon against that version indicates a QuickTime is available. Clicking on it will open it in QuickTime Player for reference. The first thing we'll notice in this version are these ref panels, which were created because effects were added in an editorial. Camera moves will come in as ref panels, and the animation can be visualized in the viewer. 
Please note that this wouldn't be the case if the as tilts checkbox had been selected previously in the editorial interface. To make it easy for revision artists to find their boards, Flix will keep a link to the original PSD file effects were added on top of. These can be found by clicking on the ID of a panel in the related part of the pop-up. Toggling on the markers in Flix will also indicate the shot breaks created in Premiere, preserving the same shot naming convention.